Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound cobalt 2 sulfide. So let's find where these elements are on the periodic table, and then we can write the formula. Cobalt, if I scan the periodic table, cobalt is going to be over here. It's a metal, right? It's listed as CO, and it's part of this block, which means that it's a transition metal. So I'm going to write CO. Now, the thing with transition metals is that they have multiple charges. We need the charges when we need to write the formulas. But for transition metals, they will always give you a Roman numeral. The Roman numeral is the charge of the metal. So in this case, cobalt would be a plus two. Metals are always positive charges. Coming over to the next element, we have sulfide. It's an IDE ending, which means that, you know, the original element had to be sul something. In this case, it's sulfur. And sulfur is over here on the periodic table. It's labeled as S. And it follows the oxidation trend that's in this group. Sulfur is going to be a negative two charge. Now we have the charges. All we have to do is just crisscross them, and that will tell us how many of each element I have. So this plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I have two sulfurs, and this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I should have two cobalts. But here's the thing, guys. Ionic compounds need to be always simplified. So if you have the number that's the same for both of them, you have to simplify this by division. I could take both of these numbers and divide it by two to get a simpler ratio. Two divided by two is both one, right? That's the number that you're going to use for each one of them. So in this case, I have cobalt. I have only one cobalt, so I don't have to write the one. And then for the sulfur, I have one of them, so I don't have to write the one, and then I'm done. So cobalt two sulfide is just C-O-S. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.